Hello guys and welcome to another MK Mobile video. Today we're talking about the packs or in other words which are the best packs that you should open in your MK Mobile journey starting from the very beginning when you open the game for the first time to let's say five, six, seven, or even a year in the game. Now uh, the, most thing, the most important thing that you must remember is that in the beginning of the game uh, probably I would say for the first week there is only one pack that you should open uh, and this pack is not the challenge pack but the gold pack. Now uh, there are certain reasons for that. First thing first, the pack is cheap, which will guarantee that you're going to be getting a lot of characters. And this is the key word. In the very first days in your MK Mobile journey, you will require characters. You need those characters, even though they're not really that strong. Let's be real, the characters that you're going to get in the gold pack generally won't be really strong. However, you will be able to utilize them in many different ways. The first way is, of course, quest mode. In quest mode, you will be required to use characters in the outward map. For instance, if you click here and you try to start the quest, I, I cannot really do it at the moment. But anyways, long story short, every single quest requires you to have specific characters that can give you boost to the quest. For instance, if I am to restart this one, you can see I'm going to use the speed elixir. And you will see that for this particular quest, I'm using certain characters that are giving me bonuses. I'm using Circle of Shadow Quan Chi, Circle of Shadow Jax, and Circle of Shadow uh, Kung Lao. If I decide to edit the quest, you can see that each and every one of those are giving me bonuses. Uh, so at the end of the day, you will require to have characters in order to unlock those bonuses and the best and the fastest way in the very first days of your MK Mobile journey to get characters is to open uh, the regular challenge, or sorry, not challengeable gold pack. However, again, you are doing this only in the very beginning. At a certain period of time, uh, let's say after your first week in the game, the gold pack becomes obsolete, so there is no need to use it uh, at all after that. And one more thing, one more reason why you require to have more characters in the beginning uh, is that you want to do challenges. You know, challenges are by far the easiest way in the game to obtain gold characters. And in a lot of cases, certain challenges will have requirement. Have, for instance, the kid in your team, or have Baraka, or have uh, Reptile. And um, the best and the fastest way to get characters again in the beginning is to open the gold pack. So what are you doing after you open the gold pack? It is simple. Currently, there are other two uh, packs in the game that don't have any limitations. As you can see, Diamond MK11 pack, it goes for 375 souls, and Scarlet MK11 Diamond pack, that goes for 400 souls. Both of those packs don't have limitation. What I mean by that is, if you click on this pack, for instance, you will notice here on the bottom that there are 20 packs remaining. So you can open 10 by 10, but you can do that only 20 times. After this, the pack will be gone, so you won't be able to open anymore. So, after the first week of your MK Mobile journey is done and you are done opening gold packs, the next pack that you should be focusing on is the Scarlet MK11 Diamond Pack. Why you have to open it? First reason, there is no limitation. You can open it every single time when you have 400. So, and second reason, uh, this pack offers two of the very best characters in the game, including actually the best character in the game, in my opinion, which is MK11 Scorpion. MK11 Scorpion is that great because literally, as long as you unlock it, he will carry your account and i mean that he will carry your account so make sure that you open scarlet mk11 diamond pack and until you get mk11 scorpion to let's say some healthy fusion four five six or whatever and uh, once you do that you can kind of spend souls in another direction but above all it is really important super important to at least unlock mk11 scorpion from this pack so make sure that you focus on the scarlet MK11 Diamond Pack after you're done with the Gold Pack. And now, the next question uh, that should be answered here is what do you do after that? Let's say you already have, you opened this pack multiple times, you got MK11 Scorpion, let's say Fusion 3, 4, 5, uh, you have Sub-Zero, Fusion 3, 4, whatever. Uh, so what do you do after that? Now, there are two routes. First route is you keep on opening Scarlet MK11 Diamond Packs until you max uh, MK11 Scorpion. Uh, the second route is to open other packs that will give you really really valuable diamonds for instance what i mean by a valuable diamond a valuable diamond is a diamond that can work and it can be super useful at fusion zero mk11 scorpion is such a character reason being he's setting the entire enemy team on fire on tack and at the beginning of the game and he can do that on any fusion so he can do that at fusion 10 he can do it at fusion zero with the same effectiveness so Another character that's super good for this uh, particular reason, Fusion Zero, is Strike Force Scorpions right here in this pack. Why is he good? Because he can save his teammates. It doesn't matter 
who the teammates are, he can save them and he can do that at Fusion Zero. So as long as you unlock him, uh, he'll be super useful. So the general case, uh, what I'm trying to, the message that I'm trying to convey here is uh, you should focus on packs in the beginning that gives you better chances of getting characters that are super, super good at Fusion Zero and also try to get packs with higher chances. For instance, if you click on this pack, you can see that you have 15% chance to get a diamond. However, if you see a pack that goes for 450 souls and it has 30% chance to get a diamond, it is by far a better pack. There is another thing that you need to understand. Uh, and this thing is that, generally speaking, towers and crypt is better than packs because packs rely on chance. So you can get a diamond, but at the end of the day, you might not get a diamond. However, if you do the crypt, uh, you can get a diamond guaranteed. As long as you're grinding, you will definitely get a diamond. If you go to the crypt store, you can see there's... Um, diamonds here i have them all maxed out but in your case uh you will definitely have something to buy from this store and of course if you're doing towers again you're going to get diamonds you don't really know which diamonds but you're going to get definitely diamonds packs are a little bit risky why i'm saying that because after you have spent certain time in the game try to focus not on packs in other words if you have the option to save your souls or do tower Always try to do towers because the towers are probably the best way to get diamonds in the game. It isn't packs. But anyways, if you want to spend souls on packs, and this will inevitably happen, try to spend on packs that have high chance to obtain diamonds and packs that have good chance to obtain diamonds that are great at low fusion. Again, those are diamonds with passive actually works at fusion zero. For instance, MK11 Scorpion can save his teammates and he can do that on any fusion. MK11 Scarlet can do other stuff that can be unlocked on any fusion. However, if there is a diamond whose passive is, let's say, he becomes stronger if he loses health, just giving you an example, apparently this passive won't be that effective uh, if the diamond is fusion zero because uh, he will more or less get one shot it in towers and stuff like this. So definitely this diamond shouldn't be your priority. So if I have to summarize the video, in the very first week of your MK Mobile journey, try to focus on the gold pack. There is a reason for that, and the reason is simple. You need to have some roster so that you can do challenges right here. If you, wanna, uh, if you go to the challenge, you can see that the challenge actually requires specific characters. For instance, this challenge requires outward characters. Uh, this challenge requires Takeda and Kano. So how do you obtain them? By uh, opening gold packs, as many of them in the very first week of the game, so that you can get some roster. Then you focus on the MK11 Scarlet pack, Reason being, you will get the best character in the game, MK11 Scorpion. And after that, it is totally up to you whether you want to keep developing MK11 Scorpion or you want to focus on getting other characters that are super useful at low fusion, such as, for instance, Strike for Scorpion and so on. At the end of the day, remember that packs are not really the best way to obtain diamonds in the game. The best way to obtain diamonds is to do towers and to do a crypt. So make sure that you have the roster that will help you do that. And always, if you can choose between spending your souls on packs or spending your souls on towers, always choose the towers. It is definitely going to be worth it. All right, guys. So I hope you found this video useful. See you next time. Take care. Perfect.